Hi, this is the first video of a tutorial series where we will explain every feature and function of the Bricksbox platform. We will do so by building an ERP system which will contain master data, sales processes and some inventory functions. Every new video we will add a new feature to the ERP system and introduce new functions of the platform. A detailed explanation of every function can be found in our online documentation as well. As a start, we will take a closer look at the screen layout and the basic features. Topics will be the menu and its standard options when no app has been configured yet, how to manage your user account to change passwords or to add two-factor authentication for example. We will import one of our templates we offer for free and take a first look at the handling of Brixbox apps. We will introduce the single page mode and install the platform as progressive web app on our desktop and mobile devices like iOS or Android smartphones and tablets. Once you have your account, you simply log into the system and you will not see much since there is no business apps yet. On the left, you will find the menu which allows us to switch between workspaces. My DMU user has just one workspace allocated, but if you have more than one, you can switch them here. A search function allows to search for records throughout the workspace. Once we start building apps, we will also talk about the configuration options of the search function. Admin users will find the documentation node on the bottom of the menu. Here you will find links to our support forum and documentation site. Use the forum to get in touch with other Bricksbox admin users or directly with the developers. And with the wiki you will find a detailed explanation of every feature and function. Both sites are in heavy development, so there's a good chance it will look quite different when you're visiting the sites a few weeks later than I recorded this video. The change log will keep you up to date about the latest finished features by our development department. Information will be spread by tweets, so make sure to follow their account if you don't want to miss any. Below the configuration node, you will find everything you need to build advanced business apps in a fast and reliable way. We will tackle this in detail in the following video of the series. By environment, you will find everything to manage your subscription data and also tools to manage the performance of the database server. We will cover the, this topic in detail in another video. The compact mode hides the menu bar and gives a space to the loaded business apps. Once activated, it can be toggled by the menu button or switch back to normal mode by the sidebar button. Latest part in this basic menu is the user account management. Switch easily your language or just log out once you're done with your work. Bigsbox also provides voice command features. How to use them will be a topic of an extra video. User account management allows every user to add or change your avatar picture and set default workspace. This will be the selected workspace when logging into the system. By password, a password change can be done. And the two-factor authentication enables the higher security standard and can be easily activated when you got a smartphone. So let's do that and hit the configure authenticator app button. It generates a QR code, which I scan with my smartphone. The phone asks me to add the token to the app. Yes, I want to do that. Enter the verification code. And it's done. So let's see how that will look when we're logging into the system. Now I get this authentication screen, which will probably look different when you will try that later. And now I'm logged in by two-factor authentication. Back to the configuration menu and to import a template from the gallery. There are a couple of options to choose from and all of them are ready to be used. But even if you are not planning to use them, but want to build your own apps, these are a good starting point to learn just by looking how these are built. Importing one of these could not be any easier. Just hit import template and it will ask you if you want to import it. We say yes. It takes a moment depending on the size of the template. And there we go and the import is done.
Let's refresh our screen. Once we have our template imported, there's a new menu entry where we find all the imported apps. Let's take a look at addresses. It starts in list mode and I open the example address by the edit button. And now I can change the data. For example, if the zip group is wrong, which is not the case here, but just for the sake of this video. So let's save the change up here and it closes the app. If it closes or not, it's a setting in the configuration. Let's open it up once more. And behind the tab here is another grid to organize contact persons. And this one is to keep track of activities. So let's open that activity. Can close it down and create a new one. But let's leave this for now and go back to our screen layout. Next feature is the single page mode, which can be activated on the bottom right. Standard mode will be just allow one app within one browser tab. Of course, you can open as much apps as you want by opening them in new browser tabs like this. But if you open it in the same tab, it will override the actual open it at address app. So if you want to keep your tabs clean, the single page mode is the way to go. You get it activated down here. It reloads my screen and we go to the address app again. And now I have the tabs within the system inside my browser tab. Which actually brings us to the next and last feature of, for this video. How to install the system as progressive web app on your desktop or smartphone. In Chrome browser just click on the three little dots on top right and choose install Brixbox. And it will ask you to install and if you say yes it will close the actual browser tab and open the system like a desktop application without the browser bar. So once you are in this mode, the single page mode function comes really handy. Also you will find an icon on your desktop to start this mode right away next time. In iOS or Android it works very similar. Open the Brixbox platform in your Safari browser and choose add to home button. So let's give it a name. And there you go, we have the app on our home screen and start the system like a normal mobile app. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a good first impression of the Brixbox platform and got interested in learning more about it. If so, head over to brixbox.net, get yourself an account and start building your own business apps and systems.